Hello everyone, I'm the coach of Flying Cheese and uh, I'm Ezra's dad. We just finished our trip in Dallas and we got so many love in the YXIQ worlds. And there's something interesting I want to share with you. It's about how we prepared for the dome. Um, we bought some brand new discs for the dome. That makes sense, right? As you can imagine, we had the shooting, so they all fly out. Using our regular shooting, they all score on one point zone. So to make sure they score at uh, four point zone, those new days, we have to reduce our shooting power. We find out the number is 15. We have to reduce 15% to make sure that we can score them over here. But at worst, a middle school team stopped by. They just played their own game. They told us, no, I really think the dome should be slippery. No, that's not the case. It feels almost the same as your qualification runs. So we followed. At the dome, you see our first shooting, as our first shooting lands on here, three point zone. After that, all our shootings are short. We got so many threes. After the game, I saw our last team, the driver was saying, they saw this one. As our first shooting, landing on three, they knew it's done. No way. But uh, you can see the four boys, they were still playing their best to finish their game. And we find out to score over here on the NASA table, you have to increase your shooting power by 15%. So the difference from here to here is 30, 30%. That means you are playing a totally different game. If before at the dome, you told me that you have to increase your shooting power on the, on the brand new disc for 30%. I won't, I won't believe you, that doesn't make sense. If the difference is 10%, the shooting difference is 10%, I think the drivers, they can adjust by their experience, driving skills, their code designs, but uh, on a 30%, there's no way you can fight it back. After the game, my driver came to me and he was saying, sorry coach. I said, no, it's not your fault. No need to say sorry. I felt the table after the closing ceremony is different. There's no shine on the table. It feels similar to this. And uh, I brought one disc from the our dome table, NASA table. I can tell they are brand new. They are brand new. Disc, no problem, brand new. So I'm not making this video only for flying cheese, but uh, for everyone who played on the NASA table. I want to say, Coach Jeremy, you are the best. Your team did so good at US Open, did so good at Wax World. You deserve to see a better result. Uh, I want to talk to uh, Lemon Knight. I'm a big fan of you. So you are so you're so good. I like your every single game. I like your smile. I like your dance. I like your energy. You deserve a better result. But uh, your game, the beast, the shape, is even worse than us. After that, you were still trying to smile. You deserve something better. So I was thinking, in the future, Dome games, wax IQ games. If you design games, live in friction. Maybe you can give the kids some more mercy. Just to give them one minute before they play the game. Just to give them a chance to test the table. Let them know what's the game they were, they were playing. Just one minute, a test, they'll start everything. Or in a dome, 
How about everybody just like a play on the same table? Everybody same table. Then you won't see people like me complain for anything. That's that's not just for us. It's for everyone. For you, you are watching this video. That's for you. That's for a better game for everyone, right? We can do that, right? Thank you.